Hey guys, we're back with another top five list. This time we wanted to cover our top five quick service restaurants in Walt Disney World. Mm -hmm. These are the kind of places where you can go to in a bit of a rush. You just go and order at the desk. They give you the food. You sit down, done. Not really too much waiting, which is great when you're in the park or you're just in a bit of a rush and you want to just get food done and out of the way. Okay, launching right on in at number five, we have Restaurantosaurus. Have you ever eaten at Restaurantosaurus? I have never eaten at Restaurantosaurus. Oh my god, it's like amazing. Um, it's in Animal Kingdom in Dinoland, USA. And it does kind of do mainly like the standard burgers, um, like chicken nuggets, things like that. But they do have a few more like, unique items. But the thing that's so amazing about this restaurant is the theming. The detail that has gone into this is insane. It's basically like a college campus for the people that work at the Dino um, Institute, which is where the dinosaur ride is. And there's like so many different rooms. There's like a little car on the side that you can sit in and it's just like ridiculously well themed. And the music, they just play songs with the word like dinosaurs in. Or, or they've got like R.E.M. It's the end of the world as we know it. Um, uh, everybody do the dinosaur. Like all of those. It's just so much fun and I love it. And it's just incredible. And I actually think it's kind of, if you are looking for something a little bit more kind of generic in Animal Kingdom, because some of the food places can be a little bit more exotic. That is like, a go-to for anyone when I go with my family we always used to eat in there just because my brother's a little bit picky and we could also do something a bit more unusual with the food we were picking as well as getting them burgers and chips so I love it and it's definitely why it's my number five spot so number four is another one we've got Animal Kingdom and this is the Yak and Yeti I personally really like this one because we used to eat there all the time when we went to Animal Kingdom and what we'd get was the sweet and sour pork or the sweet and sour chicken and get it with loads and loads of rice, loads of sauce. It was a really filling meal. And there was rarely a queue back at that time. And it was just a great meal for the price. I think that it was a bit more unique than somewhere that sells just burgers and chips, but still gave you at the end something really, really quite good quality. Uh, I know Sarah is not as much of a fan of this one, but this one is definitely, for me, up there in the quick service restaurants. Mm -hmm. And it's a bit strange as well, because they've named the sit-down restaurant and the quick service restaurant both Yak and Yeti. So there are two. I think the quick service is like Yak and Yeti local foods or something like that. It might They might have changed it now, but every time we've been, it was Yak and Yeti quick serve, Yak and Yeti sit down. Moving away from Animal Kingdom now, we've got at number three, Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe. This is like, I think it actually has like a cult following this one as like, because of... Uh, Sunny Eclipse who's in it he's got his own like vinylmation he's on his pins it's basically um, a really great location if you don't know what you want <laughs> is that any way I can describe it there's like four three or four stations they've got like chicken um, sandwiches like burgers chicken like wraps and things and you can just pick what you want and there's a big toppings bar and then when you go to sit down there's this like is he an alien I assume so in Tomorrowland an alien called Sunny Eclipse and he plays music and he's like an animatronic and it's just really fun. It's been a really consistent location. Uh, I don't think we've ever really had bad food from there. I mean, it's not amazing, mind-blowing, but it's the variety that makes this one a real winner. The show that Sunny Eclipse animatronic puts on is incredibly cheesy with the worst space puns you will ever hear. But you gotta love it. You gotta get in the mood. And I think its location is really good, especially if you work around the park counterclockwise by that kind of time you're kind of getting in the mood for some food you maybe want some lunch something like that so it's a really good stopping point it's easy to get to and there's just loads of variety i think that that's what makes it a really good place to check out moving on to the number two slot this place i only actually discovered through you wasn't this trip it was the trip before you were like we need to eat here it's really good and i was like oh it always looks a bit you know not weird but okay the word i was looking for was healthy <laughs> <laughs> and i was like mm, but they've got vegetables with things and I'm on holiday and salmon and freshness and I don't want that I want fried goodness but we gave it a go anyway and that is Sunshine Seasons in Epcot it's in the land pavilion it's in the land pavilion I really like again that it offers different things uh, I have had an amazing stir fry from there there was a beef teriyaki mm. that was really good plenty of vegetables that weren't overcooked with some nice noodles and a really good sauce and it was just very different from everything else that the park seemed to offer. You get your main, they've got plenty of desserts on offer as well, and it's just a really nice place to sit down and eat. And I don't think I've ever seen it really, really busy. When we did the tour, that actually some of the um, vegetables and stuff that are grown in the Living With The Lands ride gets put over there and put in the food, which is quite cool. 
Last time I went for lunch, and this time we actually had breakfast there. And I quite like the breakfast as well. I mean, they had a few different options. Um, we just kind of went for standard breakfast. But it was, you know, it was quiet, and that was great first thing in the morning. Like, we could just sit in there. It was air-conditioned. It was nicely themed. And I really, really liked it. Oh, I've always had really good food from there, and I can definitely recommend it. It is a great place to stop for lunch, especially if you are tired of burgers and chips and you want something a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Epcot in general is great for that if you want something a little bit different. Okay, and our number one quick service restaurant on Disney property is Wolfgang Park Express at Disney Springs. This is another one that we only discovered this trip um, because I didn't know it was quick service. It was, it kind of isn't, it kind of isn't. It is on the dining plan, like it counts as quick service, which is amazing. But everything comes on like proper plates and you get proper knives and forks and people bring them to you. And we had a guy offer to refill our drink on the first night and I was like, what? This is... You're, and he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I was like, but this isn't a sit-down restaurant. What are you doing? And it was, we had, I had spaghetti bolognese and it was like, I know spaghetti bolognese is like a generic meal, but it was amazing. Like this was really good. And then we both had, um, was it like a vanilla cheesecake, which had been like blowtorched afterwards? Mm. I, for my main, had the bacon wrapped meatloaf, which was really good. It was the first time I'd ever had meatloaf and it was really moist. It was really well seasoned. It was with a fantastic sauce and it had amazing shoestring onions that came with it. The mash was great. I went in expecting nothing more than sort of a quick service meal and came out with something that I would have been happy to pay sit down meal prices for. It was just nothing short of really awesome. I really liked the way the restaurant was laid out. I liked how bright it was in there. It was just a really nice place and I just completely didn't expect it. As with all our lists, this is just how we feel about some of the restaurants that we happen to have been to. If there's something on the list that you disagree with, let us know. And if we've missed something that's your favourite, please, please let us know because we always love new stuff. So don't forget to leave that below in a comment. So once again, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hi everyone. So today we're going to be talking about some fun places to visit in Disney World. Um, these are kind of some of our favourite little locations that you can kind of pop to and yeah, they're just really enjoyable.